Hi, I'm Sean Wilson with Shavik Designs and today I'm going to show you how to make button jewelry. The materials that you'll need are some old buttons, some copper wire, you can use a 14 gauge and a 22 gauge wire, and then the tools you'll need are tin snips, wire cutters, rosary tools, and a flat or needle nose pliers, and then a hammer to hammer it all down. And then when you're all done, you'll want a satin cord or a chain to hang your pendant on. For the first step, I'm using my 14 gauge copper wire. Um, you can even use a 12 gauge. Um, bend it into your shape, and this is just a little bit of twisting, and I like these squiggle shapes. Once you have it good and twisted up into the right shape for you, the, the size that you want it, uh, then the next step is, you know, you've got your nice squiggle, and uh, it's good and set. The next step is, once you have your buttons chosen, it's time to decide where the buttons look best on your pendant. So take a few minutes to just play with them, lay them on there, decide where they look best. And um, then with your little wire, and I have a 22 gauge wire on this one, and you start weaving it around your heavier wire. And you're going to tie a knot first, so you'll want to use your little pliers and weave that wire in and around there, and then it's time to start attaching the buttons. And the buttons are so much fun. I had a great time choosing my buttons. So sew them on, just as if you were sewing with needle and thread. You're using the wire to sew them on, and you want to use a couple small beads to kind of add some color and texture. And since the buttons already have so much color and texture, I chose to use all the same little seed beads. So keep sewing them on there so you've added all of your buttons. Once it's all full and it looks good to you, it's, you're well on your way. So the last step, once you've sewn all of your buttons on, is to choose either a chain or satin cord to hang your project on. And that is your last step, is to just put a jump ring on the top attach your silk cord or chain and you now have a finished button necklace and so that is how you make button jewelry